Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Trey, and I want to talk about Aquaman and King of Atlantis. I'm sorry, that was me throwing up from looking at that god awful promotion image. Oh, oh, oh my God! It's it's trash fire. It is garbage on wheels. What the hell was HBO? Thinking Greenland in this bull crap. That's what you want to represent Aquaman. And don't don't give me this. Don't give me this. Oh, it's for the kids and stuff like that. Bump that. Bump that. Cartoons when I was growing up looked it better and had more detail than this. This is this is getting ridiculous at this point. Man, come on now. PBS is producing better looking cartoon shows than Cartoon Network and Disney. And Nickelodeon for kids. Come on now. Come on now. That's public broadcasting network for the kids. And, and you're sitting up here with this whatever the hell you want to call a TV show. And then the the, the, uh, the executive producer is Jane Wan. Like seriously, as soon as he saw those designs, he should have tossed that out. He should have tossed that out. This this Cal Arts art style that people I've been hearing people talk talk about or whatever it needs to go this is some lazy bull crap you know are, are you kidding me right now with this garbage <laughs> you couldn't even use the style of Justice League action hell even Phil Barossa's boring ass art style that he used for Justice League in those DC animated movie m movies would have been better than this <sighs> for kids Hell, even DC Super Supergirls looked it better than this. Y you couldn't have did that, or at least Legos. But you give me this, this garbage that makes me want to just, because it's gross. It's gross looking. It's on the same level as Thundercat Roar, Teen Titans Go. Ugh, it's just not good. It is not good. The designs are just garbage oh oh my god and then talking about oh yeah the art style is gonna be a little divisive but you know be in mind this show is for kids and so you mean tell me you want parents to be okay with their kids watching something that looks atrocious even if it is targeted for kids kids ain't stupid that doesn't even look like a good merchandisable toy to sell Seriously, if you was trying to merchandise that to kids, kids ain't gonna buy that. I can already, t I can already tell you, ain't no kids buying that, cause it's ugly. It's not impressive. Not when you just released Aquaman toys from the Aquaman movie that are made for kids that look way better than that. Hell, even Lego look better than that. Are you kidding me with this garbage, DC? That's the that's the crap I'm talking about. You guys sit up here. And come up with these lazy designs, these lazy cartoon things to make a quick book, thinking people are supposed to be happy about this stuff. Remember, the show is Aquaman. Aquaman is a comic book character. It has fans. It's going to bring in the adult fans. Do not try to hide behind the kids for the excuse of laziness and bullshit. Because that's what it is. It's garbage on garbage. You should be ashamed of yourself. You should be ashamed of yourself. Like, come on now. Are you are you kidding me? Mira looked like she got a unibrow. Yes, in other in another shot that they had showed on the on the site, she doesn't have a unibrow. But the uh, exaggeration of it is stupid. It is literally stupid. If you want to do a comedian based cartoon show, learn from anime. There are plenty of comedic anime shows that over exaggerate stuff or whatever but still have a quality a quality design that can sell to people you know what i mean but this right here what you're doing doesn't work it doesn't work i'm just being honest it just does not work and you should be ashamed you should be ashamed of yourself um warner brothers hbo dc all of y'all because this is garbage and you know it's garbage Th this crap needs to stop seriously like we're getting we're getting annoyed with this crap it is just crap after crap after crap 
and then you want somebody to what pay for this kind of stuff and then if it's targeted for the kids <laughs> the parents are the ones that's gonna have control of hbo max and if they look at it and see that it's not appealing why in the world would i want my kids to watch it if i had kids or if any parents because see this goes back to the conversation of parents are are tuning out their kids are tuning out to cartoons that are ugly or just stupid like this doesn't bring in more people to watch the show it turns them off it makes absolutely no sense i just don't understand what you're not understanding dc warner brothers at&t you have an opportunity to have a good show and do something good with it without being lazy you you guys got to stop being lazy you got to start willing to put some time and effort into these shows because how did you think those old shows that you guys were producing back in the day got popular you put time and effort and character designs behind them but nowadays y'all don't even want to do that y'all don't want to do that y'all think if y'all can um poop out um content that people are just going to come run into it and they don't come run into it like you think they do not all the time you know especially not with cartoons you know you can't be playing with people's cartoons anymore not like that not when japan is leading the charge in animation and they're giving us top-notch quality animation shows giving us episodes seasons shows that are going on for 20 plus years on season 40 oh yeah yeah you didn't yeah things like that happen things like that does happen but that's what happens when you have good quality storytelling, good quality designs for characters. You know, you got to make you got to make the, the world look unique. If you're going to take a style, an art style, what could have worked if you really wanted to take that kind of style? Look at One Piece. One Piece character designs are a little bit of exaggeration and stuff like that. But it also looks appealing enough that people can buy the books, buy the merchandise and figurines and play the video games with the characters because they look decent. They did they, their their time and effort put into it. There's good storytelling around it and everything. But this crap right here, what you're showing for the Aquaman thing, gross. It makes me want to throw up. It makes me want to throw up. Because it looks like terrible. It looked like used fish sticks. You know those fish sticks that comes out from the cafeteria and stuff like that in schools. Where they claim they cook the fish sticks and stuff like that. And the, the fish stick look all just, you know, frumpy and old. That That's exactly what this new Aquaman show looks like. Garbage DC. Garbage Warner Brothers. Garbage HBO Max. Garbage AT&T. Y'all should be ashamed of yourselves. Ashamed. Seriously. But yeah, that was my video. Tell me what you guys think about that garbage ass Aquaman King of Atlantis. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.